This song came about through a co-write with a friend of mine, and she kind of started it off. No, we didn't really kind of come into this co-write with not much direction or just just kind of random. You know, neither one of us had anything we were just looking to to write about. But she had this this cool line that said, uh, "Higher than a junkie drying out in the slammer. Lord, I hope I don't die in Alabama." So we basically went from there. And how do we make sense out of this line? Well, we got to write a little in front of it. We got to write behind it. And this was a fictional kind of write. We just traded lines, and Ben, the bass player, was in this one as well. It was a pretty smooth write, and it was it became kind of dark, you know, almost immediately. And we just kind of went with it. It was okay. We weren't really, you know, set out to do that particularly, but you know, that's the direction it took. So we wrote it out, and, um, and we we're pretty happy with the end result. Kind of by design, Travis at first was like, you know, I want to make this song different. You know, he was like, we're not going to do a drum kit. I don't want to do these different things. So we ended up doing stomps and claps. It's acoustic driven. We went down to Fame to record this tune. It was a, a pretty surreal day. We, we got the call that morning that Rick Hall had passed away. I rode down with Casey, the producer, uh, and we were right behind the guys. Then we got a phone call, as they did, saying that Rick Hall had passed. So I looked at Casey and we kind of looked at each other like, there's probably no way we're going to do this today. Hey, Rodney called us and was like, you know, Rick would turn over in his grave if I turned down a session. You know, because if you know Rick and his legacy of, of the productions he's done and the amount of artists he's had a, a thumbprint with is just simply legendary. There's no other way to put it. You know, because of Rick's passing, everyone was kind of in a strange, eerie mood anyway. And then we brought the song in, which was already kind of dark. So those two things combined, it kind of, I mean, I think that affected it greatly, for sure. I know the guys that are in Muscle Shoals that are friends of mine from previous work that I had done. G-Main and all those guys over there who sang on the song, like, they don't know, like I know him. So I was like, hey, come meet us at this place. I'm working with these guys. We've done a ton of work in the past. Let's all get together on this song. We didn't know it was gonna be on that day. You know, I told him, hey, come work with these guys on this track. I think you'd be good to just be on it or something, or come hang out with us. I haven't seen you in a while, you know? They called me in. Uh, to come record with them. They came to most of the shows to fame to record uh, one week and uh, they asked me to come in and do some backgrounds for them. And I did that. Next thing you know, they asked if I wanted to be in the video. So I was like, I'm all for it. You know, him being of a different genre of music and then being on that song in general, I thought was really cool just because of Rick Hall's legacy of pulling together all, you know, different types of people of all walks of life to make you know, hits to make great music. And that's kind of like what this felt like, you know, getting these different guys together in a room, even on this sad day, you know, but it was just, it was, it was powerful. Oh, 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 oh. 